Hey YouTube, um, gotten a lot of help from you over the years, so I thought I'd take this chance to try to pay that back. Um, if you, like me, have a W204, uh, mine happens to be a 2010 C300, and due to a minor rear end collision, your neck pro head restraint becomes unlodged, uh, or, you know, released, like so. There you go. Sorry, took a second. Um, this is how you can reset that without having to go to the dealer. Um, I didn't really see any great videos on this, and so I thought I'd take a second to show you what I'd learned. So, basically, if this happens, what you gotta do, just like the manual says, you've gotta push this thing in and down and kind of push it in and squeeze it good and hard and it'll latch. However, it will only latch if this little pin right there is in place right there. I'm gonna try to give you a, this little pin goes right there. See how it's got a little finger right here? It's got another one on the other side that holds it in place. And by the time I got home, my pin had somehow become dislodged and it was just missing. It was actually way down in the bottom down here. And I had to use a little magnet retractor and fish around down in here and I eventually found it. Uh, luckily it is steel, so that works pretty good. The other thing that you've got to make sure of is, let me move the light here so you can see this just a little bit better. Sorry. Okay. There we go. That's starting to work. These guys, these little fingers have to be unlatched. And I've heard some people say that their body shop was messing around and these things relatched. That happened to me when I was screwing around and I didn't know what I was doing because I didn't know that pin was gone and I accidentally latched mine. So if you do latch yours, what you'll have to do is take the back cover off the seat, unplug the servo, which is this little plug right here. You got a green and a black wire, put the black to negative, put the green to 12 volts, and boom, the servo will fire and it will release that latch. So that's what I just did and that's how I activated it. Squeeze this all back together, you should be good to go. Make sure you plug that plug in before you turn the car on, otherwise you'll get an SRS light like I did. Bom, bom, bom. Okay, so hopefully I'll demonstrate how easily this thing will pop back into position. Okay, so again, it's gonna be kind of ah, down. And then, so down, then back, and just give it a good squeeze. There we go. And now it's good to go. Make sure you plug it in.